ओम शांति बाबा साकार मुरली क्वेश्चन इज ड्यू टू विच इंटॉक्सिकेशन आर द क्लाउड्स दैट आर फुल एंड रेडी टू रेन अनएबल टू रेन आंसर इफ देर इज अननेसेसरी इंटॉक्सिकेशन ऑफ बॉडी कॉन्सियसनेस द क्लाउड्स दैट आर फुल आर ब्लोन अवे इवन इफ दे डू रेन इंस्टीड ऑफ डूइंग सर्विस दे डू डिस सर्विस इफ देर इज नो लव फॉर बाबा और नो योगा विद हिम देन ऑल दो दे डू हैव नॉलेज इट इज एज दो दे आर एम टी हाउ कुड सच एम टी क्लाउड्स बेनिफिट मेनी ओम शांति ओनली ए फ्यू क्लाउड्स नाउ रिमेन वेन द रेन डिक्रीजेज द क्लाउड्स डिस्पर्स ओवर द ओशन दे बिकम एम टी In the same way, here too, you clouds become cold. Clouds are those who refresh themselves and then go and drain on others. If someone doesn't rain, he or she can't be called a cloud. These are clouds of knowledge, and those are clouds of water. The clouds of knowledge come when it is their season. They come and refresh themselves and then go and refresh others. Clouds too are number wise. Some rain very heavily. It is the duty of clouds to rain and refresh the plants that have wilted. Those who have full knowledge don't hide away. They don't even need Baba's direction. They are clouds. They only come to fill themselves and then rain on others. Wherever you see that a land is very hard and barren. You should go and make it green. Maharati children know all the centers very well. They know which centers are still slack and in which centers some children have more storm. Maharati serviceable children know this very well. Baba always says, "Give my love and remembrance to the serviceable children. The good clothes go on service." not everyone explains in the same way at exhibitions the main thing is that the god of the gita is the incorporeal supreme father the supreme soul and not corporeal shri krishna a very good method of explaining is required throughout the day you should think about how to go and awaken others all are in extreme darkness continue to explain with love to everyone about the two fathers one is a limited father and the other is the unlimited one only the unlimited father is called the purifier you children have now received intellects although people of the world have a lot of splendor their intellects are like stone the father says i even have to uplift those who call themselves sages etc they too don't know the creation or creator or creation in the golden age this knowledge will have disappeared however no one knows this this knowledge is not in the scriptures no one can receive salvation through them there is so much regard for the gita however that is the path of devotion the father is the purifier he sits here and teaches you raj yoga therefore a new world is definitely required for the kingdom only the father comes and teaches you raj yoga you know this now he now once again explain to those who he whom he explained to the previous cycle only then will they understand it isn't that same what takes place all the time that would first for 8 to 10 years and then stop according to the drama the bombs that have been made are not just for keeping the golden is will not come without there being the death of impure human beings you also have to explain how peace is established it is the task of the father alone to establish peace and make the world elevated the father says break your intellects yoga away from everyone else and connect 
connected to the one. Therefore, remember the home. You now understand that this is the land of death. We are listening to the story of immortality in order to go to the land of immortality. Deities are called human beings with divine virtues. There cannot be a single one like that here. They have written so much defamation about Sri Krishna. Nothing enters their intellects. You children now have to make effort very well and imbibe divine virtues. <clears throat> there cannot be a single one like that here. They have written so much defamation about Sri Krishna. Nothing enters their intellects. You children now have to make effort very well and imbibe divine virtues. It has been explained to you what are divine virtues. You must definitely become completely viceless. This is the main and foremost virtue. You see how impure ones everywhere how bow down to those who are pure. In the golden age everyone is pure and so there are no temples there. They build temples when they become worshippers. Those who were pure, pure then become impure. This is the last of many births. The father. says forget this old world and these old bodies this old world now has to end it won't take time for it to be destroyed this old world wealth prosperity and treasures etc are all about to end only a few more days remain no one in the world knows that this old world is to be destroyed you tell everyone this but they also have to have that faith. All of it can only sit in their intellects when they consider this to be the voices of God. The father says to you children, consider yourself to be souls and remember me, your father. You children know that the unlimited father is teaching you Raj Yoga. He is the father of all souls, all our brothers. He never... In heaven, all brothers were happy, whereas in the ironies, all brothers are unhappy. All souls are now residents of hell. There wouldn't be just souls, they also have to have bodies. You children now have to become soul conscious and it is this that requires effort. It is not like going to your auntie's home. This stage can only become firm when you first have the faith that the Supreme Father, the Supreme Soul is teaching you. Shri Baba comes here to teach you through this body. We, he we hear it through these bodies and imbibe it. We set bodies and take others according to our sanskars. It is just like the example that Baba gives. Baba gives of those in the army. They take the sanskars of battling away with them and so they are pulled there in their next birth. You now know the father's sanskars. You know what sanskars the incorporeal unlimited father has. He is the seed of the human world tree. He is the purifier and the ocean of knowledge. Only he comes and purifies us. The father says, constantly remember me alone and your sins of many birds will be absolved. Otherwise, there will have to be a lot of punishment and no status will be received. You children now know that Baba is showing you a very easy path. He says, Manmana Bhava. This expression is also in the Gita but the meaning of it is not understood. The father says, constantly remember me alone, renounce your body and all bodily religions, consider yourself to be soul and remember me, the supreme father, the supreme soul. Remembrance is also called the fire of yoga. Yoga is a common word. It is also mentioned in the Gita, but because they have put Krishna's name, they have created extreme darkness. 
Now when you explain to them, they say it is just your imagination. They don't understand anything. They don't want to claim the inheritance. First of all, they have to understand that unlimited father is the father, teacher and Sadhguru. And that he is teaching us. There has to be this firm faith. It is impossible for a new person to have this faith instantly. Some new ones are sensible and so they are able to understand. Some don't even want to come here. They don't understand anything at all. It doesn't enter their intellects at all. There are so many BKs. Therefore, they must definitely have received their inheritance from the father. This is a family. The name that is written is Brahma Kumars and Kumaris. And so this is a family. The family of Prajapita Brahma is so large and yet this doesn't sit in the intellect of anyone. When someone asks what your aim and objective is, tell him that it is written on the board outside. Prajapita Brahma Kumar, Kumars and Kumaris. Therefore, this is a family. We receive the inheritance from our grandfather. Shri Baba comes creation through. Shri Baba creates creation through the mouth of Prajapita Brahma. Therefore, he is the creator. He creates heaven and so he would definitely give them the inheritance of heaven. So this is a family. There is the father, son's daughter and the grandfather. There is Brahma and also Shiva. He is the creator. He is incorporated. So how does he give you children your inheritance? He gives you your inheritance through Brahma. Explain this very clearly. Tell them this is your father's home. This is also called the sacrificial fire of knowledge of Rudra. We, <coughs> we are Brahmins. No one apart from the father can teach Raj Yoga. It says in the Gita, Manmana Bhava. That is constantly remember me alone. Therefore, we only remember that one father on the path of devotion. They sing, Baba, when you come, I will surrender myself and belong to you. I, the soul, will set this body and return with you. When I belong to you, I will definitely return with you. When a girl gets married, she goes with her bridegroom. Shiva, the bridegroom, says, I will liberate you from this sorrow and take you to the land of Venus. Then each of you will rule the kingdom according to your own efforts. To the extent that you imbibe the wealth of knowledge, you will accordingly claim a high status. The young daughters are doing service. They have to explain to the great scholars and pundits. Therefore, there has to be great interest. In wrestling, they issue challenges to wrestle with one another. Serviceable children should not sleep comfortably. It is a sin to rest. Those who consider themselves to be Mahati should not sleep comfortably. In happiness. Constantly tour around for service. Nowadays Baba is getting many exhibition sets made. Invite eminent people. If not now, they will come at some time later on. Continue to awaken sages, holy men and great souls. However, the one who speaks to them should be a Maharathi. Those who don't have yoga with the father and don't love him are like empty clouds. What would they be able to do? You understand that uneducated ones will bow down to those who are educated. Each one of you can understand for yourself to what extent you are educated. That will be shown by the service you do. If clouds are full and yet don't rain, what use are those clouds? Each one has his own understanding. If there is useless intoxication of body consciousness, your high status will be lost for all time. Baba has so much interest in doing service. Explain to the government and ask them for a hall where we can do this spiritual service to change humans into deities. 
the father has come to teach you raj yoga however you must explain with tact those who don't know how to give lectures will not be able to explain they will not be able to claim a high status those who do service will be able to claim a status write to eminent people and say there cannot be benefit for bharat in this world without this knowledge education is the main thing lakshmi and narayan also claim their status through their education they studied raj yoga in their previous birth we are also now studying this here If students in a school understand they will take a particular exam and then become something the knowledge you receive is not for this world you are studying to create a reward for your future 21 births those people study to receive happiness in this birth study that worldly knowledge too but at the same time take this teachings there is no need to be afraid of anything in this why should you not take spiritual knowledge you should take the pictures and go and explain to others tell them knowledge is essential for everyone however some children are not at that alert or active they are trapped in their jobs and responsibilities if someone is free from bondage here If someone is free from bondage he or she should become busy in doing service not everyone will follow shrimat maya causes a lot of confusion in between some children have a lot of interest but they don't have the intex intoxication to go and benefit many others baba also wonders since you have now become an adult why do you choke you can say that you have to afflict bharat We have to do true service and change human beings into deities. Baba is very amazed that some don't have this intoxication. This is why Baba says you have rajo intellects. You have a very good chance. There are even those who have a lot of ego about this knowledge and they also continue to do a lot of deep service. The jaggery and the bag of jaggery. No. There are the omens of the eclipse of Rahu. The omens of Jupiter are renewed and then the omens of eclipse of Rahu. One minute they are moving along very well and the next minute they are there are bad omens and they fall. You children have to be very courageous. You have to take the initiative and full fulfill the responsibility. We will definitely make this Bharat into heaven. Your religion is to make residents of hell into residents of heaven and to make corrupt being elevated. Baba makes you very intoxicated. But the intoxication rises in the children number wise. Acha. Who the sweetest beloved long lost and now found children love remembrance and good morning from the mother the father bab dada. The spiritual father says namaste to the spiritual children. We spiritual children say namaste to the spiritual father. Now this sense for dharma. Number 1 become free from bondage and do true service of Bharat. Do spiritual service and change human beings into deities. Don't have any ego about your knowledge. Maintain spiritual intoxication. Number 2 let your intellect have faith and first make your stage strong break away from wherever whatever you see including your body and connect yourself to the one father alone today's blessing is may you become free from wasteful thoughts and old sanskars by making the father sanskars your original sanskars baba explains it as Any wasteful thoughts or old sanskars are related to body consciousness. Sanskars of soul consciousness would be like the fathers. Just as the father is always the world benefactor, the one who afflicts all, merciful and the bestower of blessings. So let your sanskars become natural in the same way. 
to create sanskars means to act according to your thoughts words and deeds the sanskars of your life are the key with which everything works automatically there is then no need to work hard <coughs> today's slogan is real effort makers are those who remain stable in their soul conscious stage and make their chariots means bodies carry out the work om shanti <laughs>